Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here today to show you my new digi and we're gonna do the yellow color challenge. Before I get started though, I just wanna thank all of you so much for all your kind wishes and asking about my daughter and everything. She's doing great. She um, was kind of a mess on Friday, obviously, um, but now she's doing much, much better. The biggest problem is just eating, like what, what to eat that she can basically mostly just swallow, so. Um, but she doesn't have a ton of swelling and she's just doing really good. So thank you everybody for asking. That was so kind of you. And sorry about the ugly hand glove things. I'm just having some joint pain. So anyway, um, this is my new digi and this one's called Cat's Meow. So, um, it's 14 pages and this is one of the pages. And then on the back I've put, uh, one of the kind of, this is more like a digital collage because I didn't do these ones by hand, but my son and I did these on the computer. So there's that. And then there's this one. I have, um, this is that same border, you know, that's on these ones, but uh, with nothing in it so that you can back pages or whatever. But I did hand collage all the border <clears throat> on all these. So um, yeah, that's that. There's this one, and then the back of that one, I love this cat, it's so pretty, and then this is my son's favorite, he calls it the muffin, <laughs> he says that's a cat muffin, that's what they do, they turn into muffins when they lay like that, and then um, that's the back, I mean of course you don't have to put them on the back. That's just the way I've done it. You'll just get the, the pages, you know. And this one. And then there's another one of the uh, borders. The border's different though. There's three different borders. And this one. And that's the third border. And then you'll also get some um, either fussy cutting or you can leave them in their frame version because I know some people don't fussy cut or have trouble fussy cutting so I figured if we left them in their framed version kind of thing you could just you know cut them into a smaller square or whatever if you don't like fussy cutting but um, there's those and then there's this one too so again you can cut those cats out like this is that orange one that I cut out and showed you guys. I cut out these two. Or you can leave them like they are or like they originally were in the book. All right, so that is Cat's Meow. And we're gonna do the color challenge and our color today is yellow, which that was a bit of a struggle. I, uh, I mean, I found stuff, but um, yellow is just, again, not a color I use a whole ton. So, um, that was interesting trying to find stuff to use. But I do have some some things. And I found a kitty cat. And it was the outline of it was more yellow, but then as you got in it was less yellow. So I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna do something with that. And all these goodies. And these are just uh, stickers. I don't know if we'll get to it. They're just crafts stickers that aren't very big so I'm gonna set them over here aside and then I have fabric and envelopes and things like that so we'll see what we get to I'm gonna take out I do have that it's already almost a piece by itself and then these um, coin envelopes from MFemra on Etsy I might use one of those. Don't know yet. Just have to set all my stuff over here. Okay, so I made all kinds of bases, like these little bags. This is just deli paper, and you basically do the same thing you do to make a coin envelope, where you fold the two sides in, fold the bottom up, cut it so that you just have one flap to fold over, and glue it, and then I just cut it with um, pinking shears. To make that kind of ruffly edge. So I think I'm going to start with that. And I wanted to use, I have this piece, this scrap of, um, is this bag bigger? I think this one's a little, 
Oh, no, I guess they're about the same size. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a piece of Edith Holden, and I thought it would be cute to use on this bag with some yellow flowers. That was the only thing that I sort of was like, oh, I think I want to do that. Other than that, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of it. <laughs> I want to use the cat somewhere, but... So I hope you guys had a good weekend. We did, other than my poor daughter with her mouth. But like I said, it wasn't as horrible as we thought. She just needed a little Advil and a little ice on the cheeks. And she's actually been doing really well. So, But thank you guys. Everybody's been super kind um, with their well wishes and all of that. I appreciate it. It wasn't great Friday. She was a mess. We couldn't get the bleeding to stop on her darn gums. It was crazy on the, you know, where she had the surgery. She was pretty funny, though, on the ride home. She was silly and loopy. But she could still tell me, Mom, don't turn there. There's road construction. And she was right. I'm like, oh yeah, I thought we were further down. I'm like, how do you do that when you're totally looped out of your mind? Uh, it kind of amazes me how they send people home. Because <laughs> that was, wow, she was out of it. But she knew that. She knew I was taking the wrong turn there. She's better at that than I am. i horrible at direction and all those kind of things. She's like her dad, she always knows where to go. Like she just inherently knows where she's at. It's it's really kind of cool. I wish I had that ability. So yeah, you could do this same thing with parchment paper, you know, just that you use to bake on or whatever. You can make little um, bags or envelopes or those kind of things. They're just kind of fun because they have that crinkly sound and if you want to see through it, you know, you can put something in there and be able to kind of see it. Okay. Just squish that all up. Yeah, we're having another storm. Another storm came in, rain and everything. It's uh, been raining all night long. So, not fun, because that makes for, I mean, today we're supposed to, um, they're having a get-together for band for the kids, you know, to, um, like, recognize the seniors and all that kind of thing, and they were supposed to wear, like, prom-type dresses, <laughs> and of course it's pouring rain, because it wouldn't be banned if it wasn't pouring rain. So, anyway. Um, this lace is from Emma Femra on Etsy. She sent that to me as a gift. Thank you so much, Emily. So kind. Just thought it might be fun to have a little piece of that. Turn it this way because it's wanting to curl. And then I'm wondering if I can use a Tracy Fox label, number label or something. Um, I don't have these all cut out. I'm not that together here. Kind of like this. I did try to cut out a lot of other stuff though, so you guys wouldn't have to watch me. I think that's part of my problem with my my wrists and my thumbs and stuff too, is that I've been doing a lot of fussy cutting and I probably need to stop for a little while. But yeah. Yeah, it kind of was rainy and icky all weekend. My husband and I did get out yesterday and trim up our pine tree. It was starting to hang out on the sidewalk, which is crazy because it was like, I don't know, three feet tall when we moved in here. I'm from Nevada and trees there grow extremely slow. Like it would take probably 20 plus years to get a tree the size of the one we've got out there. It's crazy to me.
Oh, we get a lot more rain here than we got in Nevada. That might be part of it. That dirt must be better. Because it's seldom, if ever, would rain like all night in Nevada. I mean, they, the storms come and go. You know, sometimes in the winter and stuff you might get something like that, but it's pretty rare. Whereas here it's much more common. I don't think I'm going to just put a little bit of glue. I don't want a lot because this lace is pretty see-through. It doesn't want to stick down. Alright, and then I think a butterfly would be good. Do I have I cut some out? Yeah. Well, I have some Tim Holtz ones, but I know I cut some out. I can find them. Okay, weird. I know I cut a bunch out. Well, that's irritating. Oh, there they are. Jeez. Right in front of my nose. These are Rachel Roxy Creations. These are Tim Holtz. Just need to kind of find the right ones. Just kind of looking at the writing. That one's good. Want anything else on there? Probably not. That'll do. Almost out of glue. Seems to kind of be a constant. All right. So there's one piece, a little bag. Does it still? Okay. So now what do we want to do? Let's see. I really want to do something with the cat, so I have it for the new journal, and I'll kind of show you guys later what, where I've gotten with that. I, put, I was, sat on the couch the other night and just folded all different, um, like, pockets and things out of book page. <laughs> that would fit on that one. That would work. And there's two tags that go in here. So this is just, um, I, I need to, like, make a whole book of stuff. But this is just one sheet of book page. And it doesn't matter what size. You can do these any size, but I'll tell you what the size of this one is. And it's about four and a half by almost six. And then um, you just fold in the two flaps. You cut the other piece the same size. So see, it would be the same thing if the flaps were folded out. So two the same size, fold those sides in. And then um, I decorate it first, and then I'll stitch down the middle and just around these sides. I'll probably go all the way around, but um, then it makes two pockets, two separate pockets. Okay, so I'm turn it. It's going to actually end up being this way in the end, so I'll just, just do it that way. So I don't decorate it weird or something. Let's put some paper. I'll put my yellow. Scrap paper, and this is from Tailor Made Journals. I think that would go good there. I like lighter, butterier yellows than bright yellows. <laughs> so 
So yeah, that's a definitely a good project to do while you're sitting and watching TV is, um, you know, folding book page into pockets. And you can find all kinds of them on like Pinterest. And I know Gail Agostinelli has done videos on ephemera and stuff like that. But there's uh, different ones you can do. And it's just kind of a relaxing thing to sit and do. And you don't need a lot of things. I just had like one book and, um, you know, some little clips to hold them. Or you can use paper clips, just something to hold them. Because that, like I said, I like to decorate them before I stick them together. And you can use, use just glue. You don't have to stitch them at all. You can just glue them like down the center and then around the sides. So this is Taylor Made Journal. She has the grungy wallpaper and she just came out with a new one. I don't have that one, but um, she's got, I think, four of them so, to choose from. They're all really cool. Okay, and I don't have to worry about the bottom because this is going to go on here like this. I didn't realize how good that <laughs> goes together. Um, let's see, what else do we want on there? This one wasn't a scrap yet, but I just stuck it in my yellow folder so I would have it. That one would be good. Oh, this one. There's lots of them. See, these are all her wallpapers. That one's in green. I've got some of that. This is from my Easter Bonnet Digi, pretty sure. I think I like the roses. So I'm just going to take this and put it on here like this, trace it, and then I will uh, tear, tear it out. You can just cut it out too. really bad but I get the idea. <laughs> Man, it was just pouring out there. It's crazy. I hope it at least it's better by tonight because it's outside, you know, since we're having the whole coronavirus thing, we can't have it in the school gym. So I'm hoping that it doesn't just dump on us the entire time. These poor kids, it's like they just get a break. Seriously. And I'll list um, all the papers I use in my description box below. It has just been one thing after the other. I was really hoping for like a nice evening so that the girls could wear their dresses and not, you know, have wind or any of those fun things. But no. I mean, they'll still have fun because they'll get to see each other. But they have to stand six feet apart. My daughter was like, that's so ridiculous. It's like, well, it is what it is. You just got to do what they tell you to. At least you guys get to 
talk to each other and see each other. Okay, I'm gonna glue down those flaps just a little bit because I don't want them catching on the uh, uh, tags. Even just do it this way if you wanted to. But I already inked the other side, so I'm gonna do it that way. Alright, I'm probably barely gonna get this glued before this glue is out out. They were supposed to play tonight, or tonight and tomorrow night, um, just kind of fun songs and stuff, and my daughter can't play because the uh, dentist told her no piccolo or flute until for a week, I think is what he said. So that's not fun, but at least she gets to be there. I put this totally crooked, so don't do that. Ugh, just a hole in it. It just, I know it looks not good crooked, so I'm gonna fix it. It'd be great if I could ever do it straight, right? start at the point this time. Much better. So for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to glue this on. And I'll stitch later. It's all gluey right there. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry. <laughs> just making a mess. Let's work on these a little bit. And I'll let that dry and then I'll try to fix it. like a uh, little girl's room wallpaper or something. It's very cool. I don't know if you can hear that rain, but man. Coming down. Doing a little longer because I'm going to tear this top off. And these are just printed on copy paper, which you can probably tell because they rip really easy. And they print very nicely on copy paper.
Yeah, I didn't really think about um, when I schedule Aid Aiden's wisdom teeth being pulled. I didn't think about this whole thing tonight. But luckily, like I said, she's doing really well, so I don't. It's not going to be a problem. I'm going to back this with some Manila paper. But it probably would have been smart to not have it now. But it's okay. She's done. And doesn't have to have it done ever again. Now I just have to take my son and have it pulled. <laughs> There's just one kid in, next one out the other day. It's crazy how they do that. But I know, you know, it's kind of how they got to do it because basically almost every person has to have their wisdom teeth pulled. I mean, you don't have to, I guess, but. Just push on your other teeth. The cat's meow one. That's why I didn't use any of its paper. Oh, that was too high. But you could use any paper. I mean, if you have scrapbook paper that you like, use that to do these. You don't, you don't have to have digis. It's just, that's what I have, so. Especially in yellow. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of yellow. Buttons, did you? I was thinking Easter bonnet, but I'm pretty sure that's buttons. I get uh, confused when I make digis together or you know near the same time. So I, oh, I didn't back that one. Doing good here now. If we're having our the band thing inside, it would be a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> that's the way it works. 
Sorry, I'm just looking for the cats that I cut out. What did I do with it? There they are. Yeah, so I'm coming along on that cat's journal. It's, I think it's going to be cute. I know some of these I've used before, but... I've got some of these ones. I think these are too... The muffined one. <laughs> They're too big, though. They don't fit. They're not going the right direction, which is going to be a problem for any of these, because, you know, cats are longer this way. <laughs> Makes sense, right? That one's cute. I haven't used that one before. And I could cut its tail. Somebody was saying, you could cut the tail like it's, you know, just off the page. It's like, I know, I just don't like doing it. <laughs> I'll do those too. Okay, what else do we want to put with those? This together so I can get my colors Jeez. together here. So I'm just going to put glue down the middle. So if you don't want to stitch, this is you're just going to glue right down the middle and then glue here, here, and across the bottom. that my glue mask dried. Okay, so let's figure out what we want to put with the cats on those. Tags. So maybe we should cut them into tag shape first. book and it's in sad shape <laughs> so I just tore him out of there he looks pretty cute there though um, I feel like it just needs a little something Maybe like a little lace or something Yeah, I think I'll do a piece of that since it's already a little whiter.
and I just want it kind of a jaggedy cut. I just that way it doesn't look so perfect. And I'm just using the wet glue because I've got the lace there. And I don't just worry about the um, glue stick sticking well enough. Got to do it every time. Obviously, something behind them. Let's see, where do we have Revo? Oh, I wonder if this. This is from that snippet roll that I got from Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts. I don't think that'll work. I don't have enough of it. I know those are already flowers, but I kind of like the pink. In there. Thinking a little bit of Gail Agustinelli's, one of her like receipts I had. Now, if I can find where I put it. this um, hanky seam on it. Some ink. Time we got thirty nine, and I'm going to take off five minutes for the show and the digi and all that jazz in the beginning.
the strings in the little garbage can. That's better. Okay, we're just gonna put a very thin. I don't want it soaking through this. I don't know which side's the front and back. I think it matters. Glue all the way on the tail. Sorry, a little kitty cat. Oh, you know what we could do? We'll just do that. Ha <laughs> ha. Any cat lover will understand. <laughs> Okay, so there's that one. And then on this one, I think I'll use a little bit of this. Like the rosebud there. Put on this side. It needs like eight. This is out of one of those typing magazines. I just want part of it. Or not magazines, but books. I'll put that down further. He's going to end up covering up the flower <laughs> after all that. <gasps> all right, what else can we put with him? This is also a hinky. Not cooperating. No where I want the cat. It needs to be right where the rose is. <laughs> Maybe I want this at the top. Date name. Wasting time. I don't know why I decided this is better, so don't ask me. <laughs> Is 
I have no answers. I will stitch around these two, so. Put the lid on that. There's that. I don't know yet what I'm going to put on the tops. I may put that uh, yellow, that, I, that other hanky. I know I need to glue down that. Um, lace because it's going to catch. So there is more cats. So that's three pieces, I guess. Technically one, because it's a uh, one pocket, but those will just slide in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So those are in there, and then let's do I think I want to do one of these. And I want to use one of these. I just love this little girl with the bubble. <laughs> oh, there's that. You guys are probably yelling at me. The receipt, the Gale receipt. Okay, I need to put her on something probably not super yellow because she's already wearing yellow. Already tell I'm gonna need something taller. more buttery and so is that. Everything's too bright. I might end 
piece of that, but this is much more buttery. But then everything's so matchy matchy. Yeah, this would work. Yeah, that will work. Much better. This way. This way. I had these cards from Tim Holtz, which is would be good. I'm going to keep looking, but it's like, I just like wishes, so I don't think I need to keep looking. And then something else. Stamp. Um, these, this is Gail Agostinelli's French, um, I can't remember what she calls it, ephemera, it's the only one like that that she's got, I'm pretty sure, but I'll, I'll put a link to it. shiny those are. I think that's why I struggle with using them because too shiny. I know that's the way, um, what do you call it, flashcards are, but I just don't want them that shiny.
little tiny things. And they're thin like that, are so hard to ink around. And these stamps are from Artvark on Etsy. Artvark. Oh, I don't always say these things clearly. I'm trying. Well, at least we got a little more done today than we have <laughs> in the past ones. I always have to pick one piece though that takes me longer than it should have. of it maybe instead. I don't know if I want her standing on that more. Yeah, maybe. Just cut the edges of my glue. to tear her bubble. Oops, <laughs> put the stamp upside down. <laughs> Okay, still feel like it needs something. Mm, I 
I'd like to be able to see her standing on there. I don't know. What else? I don't think I have anything else that'll work on there. Uh, what about this might work? Or I could do a Tina number. These are Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah has these numbers. Hopefully I remember everybody. I don't know. No guarantees. I think it might have actually stopped raining. For the moment anyway. Alright. So what do we got? Oh yeah, we're over. Almost. Two minutes, I think. Uh, okay. So I'm going to stitch the things that I want to stitch, and I'll be right back, because I've got enough time to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I stitched down the middle, and all the way around the outside, and so then, and around each tag as well. So that's three pieces, and then a four and five. So not too, too horrible for an hour. All right, I hope you guys like that, and um, I am working on thinking of a new um, challenge. It might be a couple of weeks before I get that all figured out. i got a few things I'm working on so <clears throat> that I want to finish. But anyway, this is where I'm at with the cat journal so far, and it's not done. It's just pinned. The fabric's just pinned on there. So that would be the cover, and then I've got all sorts of pages together, the signatures ready to go. So this is some um, cat stationery that I've had for years and years and years. And um, I coffee stained it. So there's one for each signature of those. So that's where I'm at with that. So I am working on it. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you again probably Wednesday this week. All right, chat soon. Bye-bye now.